If you're watching in the future on YouTube, I'm on a website called PyChess.org. And this is a Lee Chess sister website for chess variants. They recently added the Duck Chess variant. And this will be my first time playing an AI in Duck Chess. And Twitch chat wants me to speed run the AI levels. So we're starting with the, the worst level. Let's just hop into it. Um, I don't think I should start with too many minutes. Maybe I'll play like 2-2. Two, two. And this is going to feel a bit... Uh oh Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it broken? Did I break it? A, B, C. What, what is this? Where's my duck? Clear your browser cache. How do I do that? Okay, trying this again. I'm in incognito. Play with AI. Duck. It's our anniversary, Eric. I hope you've remembered to get me a card. Um, I'll get you more than a card. I'll get you some duck chest content, hopefully. No promises at this point, though. Hey, it works. Okay. Oh, no, my duck. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. So I'm playing Fairy Stockfish level zero. So this is supposedly the weakest version of the AI. And wow, it moves fast. Is there sound? Unmute. There is sound. Hopefully it's not too loud. Sound. Okay. Oh no, my duck. Oh yes, my duck. Oh wow, it plays really fast. It's actually not playing so bad. So one key is to trade the bishop for knight. Oh, this is so much like snappier. Catastrophe avoided. Oh, it's so weird playing on a different interface. Okay, threatening this. Let's see if it sees my threat. Oh, it didn't see my threat. Oh, yes. Uh, let's, uh, how do I want to do this? I got to watch my time. Oh, no, white's queen. Okay, this is beautiful. Ooh, oh, wow. It's tricky, actually. If I take the bishop, I lose my queen. So let's play this and this, hitting the knight and bishop. Wow. 578 days of oh no. Wow, was it's actually kind of good. I was expecting it to be weak, but that's a fascinating move. I think I'll just take and duck c2. It's going to take here. So one cool thing about duck chess, you can castle while in check. Because there's no official like check in this game. Okay, it just gave me a free rook. <laughs> uh, and a free bishop. Okay, let's destroy it now. How difficult is it going to be to checkmate? Hmm... I need the pawn to help out. It's going to allow this. Hey, okay. It's duck mate. GG. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I hope that was enjoyable. That was enjoyable for me. That was a fast game. Realizing I can improve the layout a little bit. Make myself bigger here. Congrats on 600k YouTube subs. Oh, thanks I really so much. I enjoy your streams and have learned a lot. I enjoy your words. So that was level zero. Now it's time for level one. I'm black again. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, it's not hitting a king.
Yeah, this is um This should be pretty straightforward to beat. I'm gonna try and orchestrate some funny um some other mates. Like maybe this? Is it gonna hang mate? Wow, it hangs mate. Okay, so this is a very common mating pattern in, in duck chess. Um, H3 looks like a natural move to hit the knight. And actually, I guess I could throw this to chat. Um, it's black to move and duck mate in one. And to define duck mate, it's basically you, you make a move, you move the duck, and then opponent has no escape. Also, do people like this design of the duck? I like the circle around the duck. Good job to everyone saying bishop h2 and duck h1. Oh, it's double check. I could just torment my opponent. Queen f2, duck h1. Just for fun. Okay. <laughs> Had to put white out of their misery. Okay, so that was level one. Level two. I feel like it's going to get harder. Oh, I'm black again. The random color algorithm is uh, not wanting me to move first. It plays e3 every game, it seems like. But I wonder what the stronger levels will play. So again, this is a speed run. So yeah, I'm trying to move quickly. Grabbing space. Uh, let's defend. Yeah, that's a free piece. That's another free piece. So far, this engine isn't too impressive. Uh, although I don't want to get my queen trapped in this move. I don't understand some like basic ways of attacking. Oh, that was that was very clever. It understands anti en passant, which is kind of annoying. But so far, I'm liking the way this is progressing. Mm. Let's play this and this. Okay, so I got rid of both my knights, but I'm up two bishops here. And I'll keep putting the duck back on e2. In this move. Oh, wow, it attacks in both directions. So I have to be careful not to hang my king. Maybe this and this. Oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> How is a free queen? I'll block the e file, take a pawn, uh, castle. Never too late to castle. And now, now it's a matter of like finishing off the king, which is sometimes like surprisingly difficult. But I'm going to try and coordinate the pieces like so. I think this is almost duckmate. Oh, not quite. Is this duckmate? There we go. Okay. Okay. So that was level two. There's eight levels. And we are going back to homepage. And playing with AI level three. I'm black again. <laughs> oh, let's let's try this funny opening trap. This is D5. Uh, it's not letting me though. Oops. That was a duck slip. Wow. Oh, it's playing weirdly. I think I can take and then win at least a pawn. Guaranteeing that f6. Ooh. The king is kind of precarious there. It's hard to exploit, though. I want the queen to come in. Oops. 
Yeah, it's not doing a great job of like preventing me what I want to do. Which is nice. I think I'll take. Generally, the knight should be more valuable than the rook. Ooh, fancy, but that's a free material. Okay, here we go. Going for the kill. I like this move. Uh, rook f2 and duck e3. So the point is, when the duck's on e3, the king, if it takes, then the duck has to move and I win the king. And now I have queen here and this. And this and this. And gg. Okay, that was satisfying. It's weird how it puts a duck on g2 in the final, the very final moment of that game. Oh, hey, welcome CDR Siri. Asking, have you ever played duck chess OTB? Yeah, you should check out my most recent YouTube video. It features OTB duck chess. I think my first, it's probably the first OTB duck chess video I posted. Okay, here we go. Level four, halfway there, almost. Let's play e4, duck e6. Apologies if these games are kind of fast and maybe hard to follow, but again, that's kind of the, the point of a speed run. So going for positional play, it's clear it's um, the level's improving. Wait, what? No, oh, to move the duck. Yeah, it's definitely getting stronger. But it's still making like blunders. Um let's play this and this. Threading the rook. Oh, that was a bad move. Oops, I can't undo it either. Oh no. I guess I have duck d5. And my queen. Ah. Do I want to lose a queen? I kind of have to. I play queen h4, duck h6, but I lose a knight. I think I'm better off giving the queen. Uh. <laughs> okay, so I'm technically down material. Am I? I don't think it's so bad though, but it's not great. Okay, let's play this and then this. My knight's still attacked. I didn't think this through thoroughly. Oh, it didn't take my bishop though. I'll gladly save the bishop. Rook h8. Okay, this this is looking much better now. Uh, let's play this. And then this, and then this. Oh, I didn't see that. Wait a minute. This, and then this. Oh, the king still survives. Wow. Okay, I can take. And I'll try and... Oh, can I not queen the pawn? It moves so fast, too. Oh, we have some endgame. Okay, let's attack from behind. Take that. Okay, let me orchestrate some mating attack. How do I get the job done? You this and then this. Yeah, it's so easy to move quickly here. Oh wow. Okay, I have to play this and then this. Yeah, this and this. 
It's not easy to like actually win the position. There goes my bishop. Ah, how do I win this? I mean, I'm up, I'm up a knight, so it shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. There goes a rook. And basically, I don't need my king or knight, or um, I don't need my knight or rook. I'm just gonna box out the king. I'm really hoping it's programmed the same way as it is on chess.com. Because after king f1, dug h2, why can't I draw the arrow to h2? King f1, dug h2. Normally, this would be stalemate as it's for normal chess, but in duck chess, the king has to move to my king. Yeah. It's one of those nice cases where the kings are next to each other. Okay. So that's level four. That was by far the most difficult level so far. I'm kind of scared that it's going to beat me by the time I reach level eight. But so far, I'm undefeated. Uh, let's go back. Play with AI. Level five. Here we go. So level five. I have to be a bit more alert. And because it's 2-2, two, two, I also have to manage my time. So here we go. Um, which do I want to play? Maybe I'll play knight of six and a duck e5. Interesting. Let's play this line. Oh! I blundered. No one's ever done this to me. I can't play knight b4. That's unfortunate. I guess I have to move here and here? Oh no. I'll move back to b6, hopefully. Now I can take in this. I think this is okay. Now I can start harassing the bishop. But I can tell it's getting stronger with every level. Wait, what? Did it just give me a free queen? This better not be some deep duck sacrifice. Wait, I... I'm so confused what it's doing. I thought it's supposed to be stronger, not weaker. Let's just save the bishop. I just want a queen. Uh, some check and then maybe this. Yeah, let's start having fun with the king. Mm, it's not easy to mate, though. Or is it? I was threatening this, but I have this and this. Wow. That was one of the easier games. <laughs> I mean, it just blundered its queen and then proceeded to get mated. Um, Yeah, this is already duck mate. Like, the king has no escape. The duck will have to move away, and I'm controlling all these squares. But the opening, I did get tricked. So I should not repeat that. This, um, what happened? Yeah, taking and duck before preventing knight before. Okay, we move on. That was level five. There's three more levels. Level six. I assume level six will be less, uh, less generous. So let's develop. I'm a fiancado. Wow, what is this? Some new weird strategy. I can't play g6 because I hang a knight. But I can play this. Wow, that's so weird. But I can't easily attack the queen because can't play this, can't play this. I guess just d6 and then this. Wow. Avoiding the queen trade. I'm going to try and trap the queen. It's really close to being trapped. 
play this and then this. So unleashing the bishop. And now this and this. Hitting the queen. Ah, the queen ran away though. Okay, still looks fine. But it's moving instantly every move, which is slightly terrifying. Mm hmm Okay, so I can win a pawn. Move back. Yeah, this move. How to do this? Maybe this. Wait, what? It gave its queen again. <gasps> oh, wow. If I take it, it's going to play this and then duck h8. No, it can't, though. It can't move. Wait, I'm so confused. I'm going to play duck h8 for good measure. Just so I have king h8. Yeah, I think it just blundered. <laughs> uh, let's prevent rook g1. Yeah, it just gave its queen again. But I'm low on time, so I have to be careful. Play this, and then yeah, this, trapping the knight. Check. Yeah, this and this are, oh, my queen's hanging, though. So I'll take, and then this. OK, this should be winning. I just have to move more quickly. Wow. What is this? Put all the pieces around the king. But where's my duck mate? I have 26 seconds. This is so frustrating. Is this working? This is Duckmate, I think. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> it was a stressful game. It sacked its queen out of nowhere. I think it still has some issues understanding, like, tactics or quactics. Also, just to show this final Duckmate, um, queen e1, duck e2. When the duck is between the rook and queen like this, it's essentially a way of defending the queen. Okay, moving up to level 7. So far, I'm not so impressed. But we'll see if, it, uh, if it's saving the stronger levels for the highest level. Level 7. I've been black every game. But I guess it's a fair handicap. If, I mean, it hasn't affected the result too much. Okay. Interesting. It doesn't play duck d6, but it prevents pawn d5. I'll play a queen's Indian setup. Chance of getting black 7x in a oh, row yeah. is 0.7%. Yeah, I think I've been hitting the random color button, but it's been Yeah, it's it's been giving me black every game. Okay, so I have two knights, which generally should be preferable. I have to watch how g4, g5 might be coming. Queen e7. Okay. Yeah, this is more positional. It's actually interesting. Like, a positional game probably is what I want against a stronger form of the engine. Because I can employ more long-term ideas, like make gradual improvements. I'm not going to be winning immediately. F4, wow. But yeah, long-term, the knights should prosper, I would hope. I'm going to play b5 soon. I hung up on, ugh. Opponent doesn't take it, though, and allows the fork. Okay. A nice gift. I want to get a knight c4. Wait, knight c4 forking the queen and king. Yeah, I can't handle my tactics. Or my quactics, I should say. 
Yeah, this is going to be another like pretty straightforward win. Let's go. It definitely played the beginning of the game more cleanly, though. But I don't think it understands the value of knights versus bishops. Yeah, no mercy here. Uh, it's already quack mate or duck mate. I like how it takes one additional second to uh to realize that there's no escape. So that was level seven. Um level eight is supposedly the strongest duck AI. Back to homepage. Again, this is pychess.org. PY chess. Link is in the stream title. And level eight, random color, playing two plus two. Hey, I'm white. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll see it's opening. E4, duck, E6. So I'm going to assume that it's not... Oh, G5. What? what? G5? I was going to say that I would assume it won't be blundering things. But it just gave me a pawn. Some new gambit innovation. Yeah, it's kind of annoying to develop the king side. I'll expand on the queen side. In g3. Okay, yeah, it's still... I mean, it might want to take next. So let's block the diagonal. I'm up a pawn, but yeah, material and duck chess, it's weird. Like, it doesn't mean as much compared to normal chess. Wow, there's three attackers, and there's this to worry about. So I guess I'll play, like, hmm. I can't spend too much time here. Maybe queen c4, duck b5? If I take and... I'm going to block the bishop. Oh, no. Oh, if duck b1, I had rook a2. I still have rook a2? I still might have rook a2. Let me try and trap the queen. I feel like it's risky getting a quadratical position here. Okay. It's so close to trapping the queen. Knight e2 and duck d2, I think, traps the queen. It might be a counterattack. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I won the queen. I'm really down on time. It still has bishops. Interesting. Rook takes knight is probably a reasonable trade. Yeah, let's simplify a bit. I was not interested in my knight. Wow. Mm, looking for the duck mate. Play this and this. I feel like it's so easy to blunder here. Stop. Stop harassing me. Wait, free pawn? That was a free pawn. Uh, let's move in for the kill. I'll just keep putting the duck back on e5. Wait, this. How to do this? Play knife f5. It's so close. Yeah, this escapes. But now I have this and this. Mm-hmm. Making progress. Happy half year. So far down on time. I'm better, but I'm s I need to move quicker. There's two second increment. Okay, that's um 
a funny anti en passant. That was a duck slip. Okay, I'm going to win this pawn. Dad's winning my pawn. Stop it. I'm nervous. Let's take that thing. I'm up a queen. How hard this, can this be? Wait. No, I want to take the bishop. Ah, missed my chance. Wait, let me just queen these pawns. The duck can only stop one pawn at a time. It's still hovering around 15 seconds. How is it stop? How is he stopping all my pawns? This is so frustrating. Okay, let's make progress. Mm. Slowly but surely. Okay, Bishop is stuck. It takes so much patience against an engine like this. Ah, is it winning my pawn? No. Yes, okay, I won the rook. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward now. But it keeps saving its bishop. And it blockades my pawn. Okay, donated that. Wait, this is duckmate. Let's go. Wait, no, it's not duckmate. <laughs> I thought I was mating. Wait, let's not stalemate. But it's basically impossible to stalemate in this game. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's so difficult to win. Okay, level 8 was probably the, the more difficult level. Anyway, um, that was fun. Uh, my, my first duck chess match, essentially, against... Uh, the stockfish, the fairy stockfish. Um, it's too bad we can't see what it's thinking. But it was fun to play. And it's definitely, yeah, definitely at a level, like, I'd say much better than the average human. Um, so I'll probably put this whole thing on YouTube. If you're watching in the future on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll leave a link in the video des description if you want to play. Uh, duck chess on pie chess, pychess.org.